Welcome back, everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over the GeoPlot package. For the examples, we will go over how to create maps with Sankey diagrams, point plots, KDE plots, and then we will create choropleth maps and cartogram maps. For more information and install instructions, visit the Python package index and search for GeoPlot. One install option is to install all packages into an Anaconda package environment. For the imports, we will import GeoPandas, GeoPlot, Matplotlib, and Pandas. For our first example, we're going to go over how to create a map with a Sankey diagram. And for the shapefile data, we're going to use annual average daily traffic. I will put a GitHub link for this Jupyter Notebook and the shapefile in the tutorial description. The first thing we did is we used geopandas.readfile to read in the data from the shapefile. And the data will be in the form of a geodata frame, and it will look like this. Here we have our annual average daily traffic. And here we have the geometry that will create the Sankey diagram. To create our map, we use geoplot.sankey. Then we put in our data frame. We set our projection, our scale, which will use the annual average daily traffic, this data here. We set our limits, the color, the fig size, the legend, and the legend keyword arguments. And here we have our map with the lines or roads overlaid, which is the Sankey diagram. And the thicker the line, the heavier the traffic. And here we have our legend which is related to the thickness of the lines. Next, we have another example of a Sankey diagram, which shows Napoleon's march on Moscow. Here we have our data. And to get the data, we use geopandas.readfile. Then we use geoplot, datasets, get path, and we put in Napoleon troop movements. And the data will look like this. Then here we create our color map. Then we use geoplot.sankey, we put in our data, the scale, and the scale we use the survivor's data, here. The limits, the hue, or color, and the color map. And here we have our Sankey diagram. If you would like to save your map or your diagram, you can use this code here. And here we have a preview of the Napoleon March Sankey diagram saved as a PNG. Next, let's go over an example of a point plot. And point plots are geospatial scatter plots. For this example, we're going to use some data on tallest buildings. Here we have the path to the data on GitHub. Then we use pandas dot read csv and we pull in the data and we want to convert this pandas data frame to a geo data frame to do that we use geopandas dot geo data frame then we put in our data frame and for the geometry we use geopandas points from xy and then we use the longitude and the latitude and this is what the geo data frame will look like with the geometry. Using this code, we create a geo data frame with geometry for our world map. So, using this data, we're going to create our points, and then using this data, we will create a map of the world. To create our world map, we use geoplot.polyplot. Then we put in the world data frame. We set our line width, our face color, and our fig size. To create the point plot, we use geoplot.pointplot. Once again, putting in our data frame, which will use the tallest building's geo data frame. Then we set our scale, the limits, the hue or color, which will be based on the height. Our color map, the legend, the legend variable, the legend keyword arguments, 
and then we assign the x variable to combine the polyplot with the point plot. And here we have our point plot with our legend, where each point represents one of the tallest buildings, and the size of the point represents the height in feet of the building. Next, let's go over a kernel density estimate plot. Here we load some GeoJSON to create a geodata frame with the world country outlines. And the geodata frame will look like this and include the geometry. Next we have our earthquakes geodata frame, which will look like this. Once again, we have our geometry. To create the KDE plot, we use geoplot dot polyplot. We put in our data frame, which will use the world data. This data here. We set our fig size. Then to create the kernel density estimate plot, we use geoplot.kde plot. We put in the earthquakes geo data frame for the data frame. Then we have our color map the shade, which is true. We have our alpha transparency, which is 0.8. We set our fig size. And then once again, for the X argument, we put in our poly plot that we created here. And that will combine the world map with the KDE plot. Also, we have added a point plot. And you can see the points here. The shaded red areas are the KDE plot, and we can see that the darker red areas show a higher number of earthquakes, along with the point plots. Next, let's go over how to create a coral pleth map. Our geo data frame will look like this. For each state, we have the population, the GDP, or gross domestic product, and our geometry. Using this data frame, we create an altered data frame where we have scaled the population. We're going to use this population column here. To create the corepleth map, we use geoplot.corepleth. Then we put in our corepleth data, which is this geo data frame here. For the hue or the color, we use population in millions, which is our scaled population here. We set our fig size. We set the legend to true. And then here we create our title. And here we have our core pleth map, where the higher populated states are yellow and the lower populated states are purple. And here we have our title and subtitle. For our last example, let's go over how to create a cartogram map. A cartogram distorts, grows or shrinks, polygons on a map according to the magnitude of some input data. The first thing we did is we created our figure and our subplots. Then we go ahead and we create our cartogram for the population using geoplot.cartogram. Then we create our cartogram for the GDP, the gross domestic product. Remember to include your axe argument. And in this case, for the population cartogram, we're going to use the first subplot. And for the second cartogram, using the GDP or gross domestic product, we're going to set the second subplot here. And here we have the cartogram for population, and here we have the cartogram for GDP. You can see that they're about the same with some small differences. And note that the size of each shape for the state indicates the size of the population for that state. And it's the same for the GDP. The size of the shape for the state indicates the size of the GDP. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.